Hi everyone, I'm Louise Scammell. I'm a printmaker based at Art House, South Brent. We're on week two now and uh, you'll have received your first parcel and you've, some of you have made plates and today I have printed some of those. You're going to receive another parcel and I'm just going to show you what's going to be in it. I'm going to send you a little pack with some papers and we've got a mixture of, there are some Japanese and Indian papers inside. You'll also get your plate back um, and a print. And I've done a photocopy or two of your print. I'll turn that round so you can see it that way. Um, what you could do is you could work on your plate. If you, if you look at your print and say, oh, I wanted to add a little bit more, you can do that. You've still got your tools. So don't be afraid to make more marks into your plate. If you're happy with it, that's fine too. And what we're going to look at today is how you can make um, some sheen collé, which we talked about yesterday, to add to your print. Um, and in true Blue Peter style, there's a print um, I've added some colour to. So how did I do this? Well, right, let's start with the photocopy. What you can do on your colour photocopy is you could, for example, just get some paint and work into it and say, OK, um, I want this area to have a bit of yellow in it. Um, I've got some yellow ochre there. And you could um, have a go at making um, a design or, or making it work um, where you're happy with, with the colour combination. Um, underneath, I've got um, the size of plate. Um, I did this by literally putting um, this on top and cutting round so I could cut out that shape. Um, here we go, turn it round. And now I've got um, a template to um, use and I can cut out shapes like this. And what I've done here is I've put a tick for the right side and a cross for the back. You'll see why in a minute. And then you can use these pieces to decide what colors you want to use. You may decide, for example, that you want to paint a colour onto some of this pale Japanese paper. Um, and I'll quickly show you, I've got some acrylic paint here. You can use watercolours, um, acrylic paint or inks, anything will work. And you can literally paint the colour on top and it's highly absorbent this paper. So just make sure you do a big enough area and you can see it lays down very nicely. So when that's dry, you could then put your template on top of that paper and cut around it. There is also another trick. We talked about the soft edges on sheen collé. And what you can do um, is if you wanted to create some soft edges, I'll do it here where there's a dry bit. I'm just creating a wavy shape there. And if I pull this, you'll see it tears along that painted line and you've got these really rather beautiful soft edges which may work on some things better than others um, so that gives you an idea of the possibility of what you can do and when you've assembled all your pieces I want you to post all those bits back to me with your design and I will print your plate again and I will add the colours that you've chosen to your plate. Um, I may also send you some instructions in the post. And um, tomorrow I will show you how to print that. Bye for now.